Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pello, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this morning with a scripture reading from Mark chapter 6, verses 1 through 13. He left that place and came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. On the Sabbath he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astounded. They said, Where did this man get all this? What is this wisdom that has been given to him? What deeds of power are being done by his hands? Is, is not this the carpenter, the son of Mary, and brother of James, and Joseph, and Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Then Jesus said to them, Prophets are not without honor, except in their hometown, and among their own kin, and in their own house. And he could do no deed of power there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and cured them. And he was amazed at their unbelief. Then he went about among the villages teaching. He called the twelve and began to send them out two by two, and gave them authority over the unclean spirits. He ordered them to take nothing for their journey except a staff, no bread, no bag, no money in their belts, but to wear sandals and not to put on two tunics. He said to them, Wherever you enter a house, stay there until you leave the place. If any place will not welcome you and they refuse to hear you, as you leave, shake off the dust that is on your feet as a testimony against them. So they went out and proclaimed that all should repent. They came. Sorry. They cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and cured them. Please join me now in a time together in prayer this morning. Let us now pray together. Dear God, as we pray now, we thank you for your endless goodness to us. Thank you for all the skills and talents that you have given us and for everyone that is part of the wonderful community that we live in. We pray that you would give us great wisdom and insight as we go out into this world today and to make decisions about how we interact with others in the best ways possible. We pray for our church family as we all continue to find our ways through these unusual times, which are getting better. We open our hearts to you, Lord, and invite your Holy Spirit to be present amongst us as we serve you today. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great day today.